Hey there, I'm Miss Rita. Good day, I'm Yolo, your favorite fuzzball. And thanks for joining us for Get Active at Home. My dear boys and girls, if you haven't been active before, start slowly. Even 5 minutes of physical activity has real health benefits. Once you get a long hang of it, add a little more activity each time. <sighs> Alright, we're gonna make YOLO as our model today to clear our space. Alright. You need to take two bunny hops forward. Bunny hops forward. One, two. Two bunny hops right. Two bunny hops right. One, two. Two bunny hops back. <laughs> two bunny hops back. One, two. And two bunny hops to your left. Two bunny hops to my left. One, two. Wah! How's that done? Nice and safe space? Yeah, safe space. If you have to move anything out of the way, boys and girls, you can do that now. Or if you need, you can move to another safe space in your house. And remember, wear your shoes today because we need a lot of running and jumping. Absolutely! So, for today's activity, we are going to need two matching things. So, Yolo, can you look around our space? Boys and girls, you can use your detective goggles at home we are going to have a look around for two matching things. Two matching things. Two things that are the same. I'm not seeing two matching things. Our bottles are the same. They are for us to have a drink later. Don't forget boys and girls, lots of water today. That's not what I'm thinking of though. Look, maybe somewhere? Look, my shoes are matching. Matching, yes, Yolo. But that is not the point. Smelly socks. Ah, ingenious, Yolo. Yes. That's boys and girls. You will need some socks for today's activities. So, in a moment, I'm going to get you to go and grab those. But that's not the only thing you need today, Yolo. You also will need a pillow and a basket. Or, if you have something else that you could use that would catch a pair of socks, that would be fantastic. Right, so we need our washing basket, our pillow and our socks. As long as you can pop them like a bowl like this in for our next activity. Ready YOLO? Three, two, one, off you go! So, if you have your socks, that's great. We are going to put them aside and get ready to do the stretching. So, for stretching today, we are going to reach really, really, really high. And then, we're going to push away to one side. Ah, beautiful. Now, we are going to push all the way to the other side like a big rainbow. Ah. Okay, back up like a pencil and we are going to pop down three, two, one. <sighs> okay, now that 
we are comfy on the floor, we are going to sit in our butterfly leg stretch. So, we are going to reach all the way up, bring our hands down and our feet like this with a big smile. Okay, and for our next stretch, we're going to kick our leg out and reach over. All right, do it again. Reach over. Okay, we are going to reach on up around. All right, boys and girls, it's time to jump up and get ready for our next activity. It's a great to have you back in time with our half and half warm up, Yolo. Excellent! I can see that you've got your socks, your pillow, and your basket. Let's get started. We are going to start jumping like we're using a skipping rope. We'll do it for 20 counts. Remember, we are going to count faster through swing. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16. Oh, great job! Why don't we try some skipping now? Oh, very good! Last 10 seconds. Lots. Let's do star jumping. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Ah, alright. Wow, Yolo, you're doing great. I've got the things you've asked for. I remember three of them. I've got our socks, a pillow, our squash racket, and our basket. What's that? I didn't ask to get that. Oh, this is for me. A special sports star today. Oh my! Try to guess who it is. I'll give you some clues. She was a Malaysian professional player who has been the world's number one player consecutively for 87 months from August 2006 to November 2013. Wow! A girl? How exciting! Well, I'm not sure. Give me more clues, Yolo. I'll pop some puzzles down here for you. Can you guess? Hmm, oh, not yet. Alright, I'll put that away for later. But I've got our three things. Brilliant! So boys and girls, once you have our equipment ready to go, we need to set it up for today's game. So, we are going to put the pillow inside our basket, which we will consider as our nest. And we are actually going to pop our little socks in as eggs. They are going to have a rest in their nest. Good night, sleepy eggs. Sleep tight. <laughs> All right. So, we're going to put that out away because first, we need to practice what we already know. And that's throwing and catching. Here, remind me, what do we need to say again? We need to toss the egg, make a nest, and soften the nest. I think you are ready for this. Boys and girls, get your socks and let's do it together. Toss an egg, make a nest, soften a nest. Easy peasy, right? I think it's very easy. I think so. Are you ready to make it trickier? I'm ready for the next step. Okay, so we need our basket and a pillow now or whatever you're using for your nest today. We are going to keep it somewhere where you can take 
three big steps back. Are you ready, Yolo? Yes, I am. Ready? One, two, three. Well, we are going to learn something called underarm throw. Boys and girls, underarm throw. We are going to keep our eyes on the target and we are going to point at the next. Step and throw. Miss Rita, I think if we're a little bit further back, we need a bigger underarm throw. It's like this. Look how big is my underarm throw. Yes, we are going to pretend that we are drawing a big smiley face with our hand. Yes, but don't forget our three steps. Lay your eyes on the nest, step over and throw into the basket. Alright, let's do this. That's right, great job. How are you doing things at home? I miss... Oh, you missed this time, Yolo. Okay, you know what time is it, Yolo? It's time for a challenge. Yay! Time for a challenge! I'm so excited. You did so well getting ready for our challenge. We are going to make extra tricky today. I would say that you boys and girls did excellent job. Exceptional. Okay, here's our challenge. We are going to swap the eggs into the other hands. Now, since we swap our hands, we are going to use our other legs as well. Isn't that tricky? Mm, I know. We still step forward, but we are doing with other legs. So, as I'm doing it, I still got my eyes on the basket. I'm going to step and do the underarm throw. Now, give it a try, boys and girls. Practice with your other hand. See, I can do it. Well done. You are swiping your hand and legs at home as well. Great! 30 seconds on the clock. Don't forget to swap. Ready boys and girls? 3, 2, 1, go! Oh, good stepping over there boys and girls. Well done! That was a fantastic challenge. How did you do, boys and girls? Boys and girls, Go and grab your activity logbook or a piece of paper. If you see my activity logbook, I have drawn five eggs going into the basket and I can write number five next to it. You can write your score in your logbook. Well done! How about you, Yolo? I actually got four. So, I'm going to write the number four. Well done! Boys and girls, we have learned how to step forward, target and toss. We have done our mega job of getting mega scores. So I think we can go straight into our mega challenge. Oh, oh, it's cold here, isn't it, Yolo? I can see some penguins over there and big icebergs. Yes, it's freezing. We are in Antarctica, by the way. I've got a great idea of how to get warm. Let's do some star jump. Five quick ones. Ready, boys and girls? Let's go. One, two, three, four. Ah, much better, absolutely. Let's do our mega challenge. So, our mega challenge for today is Fitness Infusion. Woo! 
What's fitness infusion? Fitness infusion is pretty much the fitness industry way of beating boredom and when it comes to exercise. No more three sets of this exercise and two sets of that. No more running for an hour and lifting weights the next day. No more separation of cardio and strength or even stretching and core work. Now, we are combining things sometimes in crazy ways. You can multitask your way to a leaner body and happier mind on your own. Interesting. We are going to blend two fitness activities together today. We are going to blend out our underarm stroll with a squat. Yeah, you've heard it right, a squat. So, we have our hand out in front, okay? And we are going to sit in our imaginary chair, all right? And then we have to look forward, all right? And there you go. Beautiful, everybody. But we can't start our mega challenge. Where is our nest? Yolo, where is our nest? I think I know where it is. I'll go and get it. Boys and girls, can you make sure that yours is set up already for our mega challenge? Let's do a few more stretching exercise to keep warm until Yolo gets back. Hello, I'm back. Oh, hi, Yolo. All right. So, we hold the eggs. Now, we are going to do is, we are going to do the underarm throw that we are doing before. Okay. And stepping over and like this. And we're going to throw to our nest. But first, we need to do three squats. All right, so shall we have a quick practice? I will remind you, so don't worry. Okay, thank you, boys and girls. Why not we do it together? One, two, three. Step over and throw. All right, perfect looking. They've got it in as well. How brilliant are they? All right, let's make it a challenge. 30 seconds, up on the clock. Are you ready, boys and girls? On your mark, get set, go! Squat first. 3, 2, 1. Step forward and throw. Yeah, let's do it one more time, boys and girls. Don't forget about the squats. Let's do it a bit faster. 3, 2, 1. Step over and Throw. Well done, boys and girls. Do you think you can do it with your eyes closed, Yolo? Sounds tricky, but I want to try. Oh, man. Last one. You can do it, Yolo. All right. Time's up. That's it. I got three points. The last one doesn't count. Oh, congratulations. I've got five points. What have you got at home, boys and girls? Nice work. We have done such a great job. Let's put our scores in our activity book. What a great idea. Hmm. But I wonder where they are. Ah. I can see them. Oh, I can see them. Once again, once again. Now, I love how all of you gave that a go on our tricky infusion. And let's write our scores down. Uh, okay, here. Okay, here. Okay. You see, I didn't write. I just drew a picture of squat and a basket. I remember I scored five. So, I can write number five down here. I like your picture, Miss Rita. 
very good. Well, I just wrote squat and throw. I've got three for our challenge today. So, I am going to write number three here. This time, I'm going to do it really, really fast. And I want to focus on our infusion. Boys and girls, would you like to try together with me? Let's try and get our squats with proper techniques. We have to sit all the way down in our armchair. You could try that at home. Give it a go, YOLO, and see it. Okay, arms out, feet apart, and all the way down and stand back up. Nice one. Yes, I'm looking for a great technique, some really nice squats, and some big underarm throws. We are going to put another 30 seconds on the clock. Don't rush. I'm looking for a great technique. Are you ready, boys and girls? Three, two, one, go! It's so lovely to sit on the armchair. Step in, and there you go. Sit on the armchair. Step in, and there you go. Very good. We still got time. Do it again. Oh, you've got a, such a lovely squat, Yolo. Changing arms. Sit on the armchair. Changing legs. Step in. And there you go. Don't rush. Don't rush. Last one. All right. Sit on the arm. All right. Changing legs. And step in. There you go. Great job, boys and girls. Let's put them to sleep. Sleep, you little eggs. Oh, maybe one day you will grow into a big eagle or a prion or a leopard seal. Do you know who else made big impressions growing up? It was our sports superstar. She has been considered as the top contender for title of the greatest squash player of all time. She has won the World Open seven times and also consecutively five times from 2008 until 2012. She has won the Asian squash for the second eight times from 1998 to 2011. She has also been the WISPA Player of the Year from 2005 until 2010. She is very, very proud of her time and heritage. Do you know who it is yet? Hmm, getting closer already. Here are more clues. that help? Oh yeah, I know. But let's give some time for our boys and girls to figure out what's the answer, okay? But for now, I think it's time to go crazy. Are you ready? Okay, for this creative challenge, we're still going to throw the egg in our nest. But this time, I want to be creative here. You might like to hop. You might like want to spin around. You might like uh, mm, dancing on the spot. Or you can curl up in a little and toss it in. Yeah, ingenious, Yolo. You got it right, boys and girls. Are you going to have a go with that one? Remember, it's your creativity. You can do whatever you like. Are you ready? Let's do it. Sit on the armchair, do some curl ups, stepping in, and there you go. Excellent! Look at you, boys and girls. You're doing great there. Lastly, I'm going to hop. Step in, and there you go. Yay! Give yourself a round of applause. Well done, home boys and girls. That 
was so much fun. I am exhausted. Thank goodness, they warm us up here. Don't forget to grab your drinking bottle and get a quick drink. It's so important to keep us hydrated. What do you call an egg that loves adventure? Mm, an explorer? <laughs> I'm extra hungry. All these talks about eggs makes my tummy growling. I bet you are. Haha. <laughs> well, Yolo, I was wondering, would you rather eat the same thing every day? Or would you like to mix it up and eat a variety of food? Hmm, I want a mixture of food because I need lots of different nutrition from lots of different foods. It's going to keep me active. Good. Miss Rita, would you like to go to bed early or stay up really late? Oh well, staying up late is really fun, but I know that is not good for me. I'd like to go to bed early so I can get lots and lots of sleep to stay healthy. Do you know our sports star? She goes to bed early and she has a lot of energy for activities. Her name is Duracell Bunny. Oh, I know who is this. It's Dato Nicole David. Yeah, yes it is. Bravo, boys and girls. Wow, she's extraordinary. Well done today. If you're going to do the mega challenge at home, we'd like to hear from you. Or you're just joining in with your classmate or at home with your brother and sister. Don't forget to join in our online classroom. Here's the link. We absolutely love hearing from you. If you like to tell us about on your mega challenge location or even share with us what you're doing in your activity book. We'd love to see them too. Bye everyone. Bye.